So it's time again for another race between the BMW and the Range Rover. It's been, what, about two months yeah. since the last race? Right around. And we've decided that this time we're going to make it a little more interesting. So I have a list on my phone of the different penalties that the loser has to do. So Nick, do me a favor and pick a number between one and seven. I don't know any of these. Three. Okay, let me look at three. So, loser has to buy lunch. Well, that was okay. That could have been a lot worse than that. So number okay five was loser gives the winner a thousand dollars. Well, I'm glad it wasn't number five. So. I figured maybe lower would be better. And on top of that now, heads or tails? Heads. All right, you're taking back roads. Okay, well that's that's obvious. Yeah. I'm glad I'm glad I'm glad you picked heads because I really didn't want to take back roads. I almost want to do tails now. Nah. Like can we <laughs> can I get a revo? So this time around, we're actually driving down to Dandridge, and because of that, we're gonna eat at our favorite restaurant down there, which is out on the lake, very pretty. It's gonna be great this time of year, and it works perfectly because the loser has to pay for lunch. So one thing I will say is I think the back road route that I'm gonna be taking has lane closures on it that I've not experienced yet. So um, we'll see how that affects things, and it could honestly mean I'm buying lunch because I have absolutely no clue. You um, forget what I'm driving. That's true, but and, and, and the interstate route that he's gonna be taking is a bit out of the way. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm actually really excited for this one. I am too. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. All right, it is time to go. Go ahead and turn the rover on, turn the GoPro on. What mode is it in? GoPro's on. Car is started. Dings are happening because it's a BMW. All checks are good, except the checks that are normally bad. And I'm waiting on Patrick at this point. He is supposed to be giving a three, two, one countdown. And then we'll be good to go. More dings. More dings. That should be the last one. So I'll be honest, my sense of direction is that of a two-year-old. Actually, no, that's unfair to two-year-olds. Um, I would have the sense of direction of something still in the womb. That's a little weird to think about. We don't need that song right now, thank you. I've been told that whoever can just make it through this, uh, Patrick has a portico at his house, and um, whoever can make it through the portico first is the winner. And not the winner, but the, you know, the person who gets to start off first. And part of me says I just hold back and let Patrick go, but at the same time, my car is just positioned just in front of him a teeny bit. I told Nick that we're just gonna do three, two, one, go for it. There's a little portico we have to drive through, so hopefully neither one of us hit it. Also gotta unload my pockets. I wonder where my phones went. Hold on, hold, hold the, hold the phone. Hold the phone. I don't know where my phone is. Wait. Where's my phone? I don't know where your phone is. I found it. Three, two, one. Go! <laughs> We're both afraid to hit it! Okay. We're just gonna head out of here. Um, as soon as we get out of the neighborhood, I don't know, Nick, turn left or right? I'm not sure, but I have to take the interstate. Thanks to Nick's wonderful picking of the number three? Three? Or two? I don't remember, but Nick, no, it was heads. Heads. Nick picked heads. So, I get to take the interstate, which is good because this thing on the back roads to this town would be um, horrifying. So, let's go. I, uh, I Patrick, Patrick's going, oh, I'm not in drive. That's needed. Okay, I am behind Patrick, and off we go. So, I can't bother the driveway too bad. I have bad rear tires. I don't know this route exactly, but uh, I'm going to do this the best that I can. Um, with what I've got. Now, I don't have any GPS on currently. Um, Patrick, I'm going to need you to cut it until I get GPS on because I'm totally not using my phone while I'm driving. Let's go with that. Still, still not out of the neighborhood. Still not out of the neighborhood. Um, go, I guess. Here we go. So I've got to figure out how to get to Dandridge, which for most people would be no big deal whatsoever. For someone as myself, directionally challenged, it's going to be horrifying. 
We're gonna see if we can beat Nick to Dandridge because if we don't beat Nick to Dandridge, then I have to buy lunch and I'm not buying lunch. Mainly because I've gotta buy gas. And if I buy gas and lunch, I'm, I'm done for the month. Okay, we are on our way. Um, I was not using my phone while driving, pulling out of Patrick's neighborhood now, and we are good to go. So it looks like, according to Apple Maps, that the uh, road closures that I was worried about have cleared up. That's good for us, because otherwise, this would have been nearly impossible to stay mostly on back roads the entire time. However, now that's not the case. We're gonna be able to stay on back roads, and uh, it's gonna be pretty spiffy here. I I'm curious to see who's going to win. It says 29 minutes for me on the GPS. Now, I'm not going to be going balls to the wall crazy. You know, Max, I'm gonna be going is about 45. And um, because of that, though, I'm not going to be going too too crazy, actually. We ruined our rear tires while drifting. You can check that out at the eye right up there. But nevertheless, we blew our rear tires while drifting, and we're still on those same rear tires that are pretty friggin' worn. So uh, I don't want to go around a corner, lose grip, and spin out going 75. So I'm not going to be going too fast here, but my goal is to keep a steady pace. Something else that's interesting, I'm going to be behind Patrick for quite a ways. When we did this before, I wasn't behind him at all. So Nick is behind me, and that is one of the most menacing cars in the world to have behind you like that. It's actually pretty terrifying. Not as bad as his 7 Series was, that thing was a beast. You could get behind any car, anywhere, and they would just move. They would get over, they would move, that car was horrifying. But now, I'm behind Patrick for a decent amount of time here. Still behind him, actually. So, um, yeah, alright, I'm gonna just kinda ease my way out here. And there is a little bitty trick that I can do um, to get ahead of Patrick if he forgets about it. But he could also take this route and do this little trick. So uh, we're gonna see here. This is the advantage of me being behind him um, because this little trick could get me an early advantage. And I have a feeling Nick's actually gonna win this. Last time I was very confident that on the highway I would be able to beat Nick. I don't think so this time. Yeah, we're gonna see what happens. It's also one o'clock, so we're dealing with some traffic here, you know, some lunchtime traffic, people returning to work and things. So this is gonna be a really interesting race. I'm, I'm kind of excited to see where it, uh, where it goes here. So Nick has now turned off. He just turned off right behind me. I'm still stuck in traffic. We're going pretty slowly, and I am now getting actually concerned because I just realized he took the very smart way. He forgot about it, he forgot about it. I waited until the last minute to turn my turn signal on just so if he saw it, he wouldn't turn down this road. And now we're off, right? I mean, at this point, the race is officially started. I'm taking a different route than Patrick is. Now, it's impossible for me to never get on a back road here or not get on a back road, right? I have to get on a highway is what I'm saying for just a teeny bitty, teeny bitty, what? Uh, I have to get on a back road here for just a teeny, I made a wrong turn. I was talking to the camera and I made a wrong turn. Okay, I gotta turn around here. Oh, this is not starting off well. He may actually win this one by a lot. But we're not gonna let him win that easily. We're gonna try. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get to this. I'm at the first highway, now we gotta get to the second highway. Before we get to the third highway, and then eventually the interstate, then we get on another highway. So I know this is illegal what I'm doing, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it. What happened? I'm in a sketchy, sketchy looking duplex right now doing a turnaround and okay well there was a guy on the bike that I probably would have hit honestly if I went down that road had I uh, had I not made the wrong turn so we're gonna say that was just fate looking out for me there but okay let's go ahead take a turn here check make sure it's clear ah oh, my car's too low to make this <clears throat> and we're gonna go <clears throat> that was slightly illegal Okay, we did it. Barely. Okay. All right. So now I'm on this route. You gotta be careful when you're talking in these videos. Learning that with the race, because otherwise you'll blow right by your route. At this point, the race has started. I'm gonna have to go on the highway for just a little bit here, and we're gonna see how uh, that goes. But basically, once I turn off the highway, it's uh, back roads the entire way. Uh, over to this town that we're going to. Meanwhile, Patrick is going to be staying on this highway up here and the interstate, right? So he's going to be able to keep an average speed on the interstate even if he takes it light in the rover of 65, 70. And uh, I'm not going to be able to do that the entire way. So here we are. We've got a clear out. Oh, I'm in front of him. I'm in front of him. He is behind me. I pulled just in front of him. I mean, a couple car lengths here. Okay. Ah! 
He's in front of me! He's right in front of me! Ah! That was an overreaction. He just pulled out on the road right on the same highway and he's right in front of me! That was probably the most overreaction to anything in the world. Oh, that is awesome. I wish you guys could see like out the front of Patrick's car right now. All right, so Patrick is coming up next to me here. Okay, this is where Nick and I officially part ways, I believe. So I'm gonna get up next to him. Here he is. What makes that really interesting is we were driving by a car dealership. Oh, he's right beside me! There he is! It's not focusing. Problems in my life. So, oh no, I'm getting caught at this red light. No! <laughs> I'm, I'm caught at a red light. Patrick is right there. <laughs> he's right over there. I can't, I have no way to, to show you guys that, but. Um, there's a Suburban that pulled up next to me right now. Um, I'm not gonna do anything crazy off the line here, but I am kind of curious to see what Patrick is going to be doing if he's gonna like whip it really hard around this corner or whatever. We're already seven minutes into this recording for me, by the way. So uh, I'm sorry, Patrick, for editing that you're gonna have to do here. Okay, so this is actually going, this is actually pretty intense. I don't know how this is gonna end. So I think I'm gonna get a green light before him, but he has a shorter journey than me. Oh, this has added a bit of tense to it. Come on, come on, come on. I don't know why I'm saying come on. He can't be winning right now. He's right next to me. Okay, green light. Technically, I, you know, I respect Patrick for his editing on these because literally he is taking two, probably what will end up being 35-minute videos plus a bunch of other clips plus drone footage plus all that stuff and putting it into, oh, he got to go first. The light changed in his favor and he got to go first. And now I'm just sitting here, the turn lane is going and I'm, I'm, I'm just sitting here. Okay, my light is now green, people are still turning. I, that was a weird light cycle there, but I am now off into the races. And we're going down here quite a ways. Uh, what is the exact mileage? Check the GPS real quick. Two miles we're going down here and then we're taking a left off the highway. Um, this is just a four lane highway with red lights and businesses on it and all that stuff. Nothing crazy like an interstate, but man, oh man, this is, that was, that was crazy. That might be our pivotal moment. If he's just ahead of me, that is our pivotal moment right there. If I had ran that red light basically and uh, we would have been good. But the thing is that was a red light camera and I would have gotten a ticket. I don't want any of that. I'm not out here to get tickets, guys. We have now left Nick in the dust briefly and there's cops. If you watched the last race, you would know that cops pretty much summarized the entire trip for me. They were everywhere. And it appears that's going to hold true again. But also, if you haven't noticed, I have a massive, massive spot on my forehead right here. Um, it's a new style I'm going for, so let me know what you think about that. I now need to go ahead and just close up my sunroof because I was starting to bake in here, but quick update for you. Update. Okay. Quick update for you. I've now been going for about uh, a solid two minutes since we last saw Nick, and I'm going to have to set my cruise control because I'm going way too fast, and if I get a ticket, I have to pay the ticket, and I have to pay for lunch, and I have to buy gas, which would bankrupt me at this point. Here we are now turning on to uh, the basically back road that takes me there. Now, I was thinking, I made that wrong turn. I blew past that turn that, you know, was supposed to give me that quickie little advantage over Patrick. And um, when, I, when I made that mistake, I would have made the red light. I would have made the red light had I not made that mistake. And um, that, God, this, so many mistakes early on could cost me so much in the long run here. So uh, that's what's crazy about like a race like this and stuff because it's, who knows you know how many different factors could actually come into play one thing i do notice up here is that there is a uh there is a truck and that truck seems to be carrying a fridge on the back of it something you uh i think what do we kind of see in east tennessee this is a very old truck very old refrigerator and um it's uh it's just yeah okay well it's not a very old truck what is, what is he carrying let me suck it behind him here oh that's okay oh, oh god Oh God, that's a railroad track, okay. All right, now pulling on to the second highway, I think, maybe. No, this is the road that leads to the second highway. Hi, sir, and your V8 Nissan Titan in 
sea blue. Turn left, turn left, turn left, turn left. Damn it. There was a chance he could have turned off there. At this point, I'm probably behind this guy. Like, I don't see any, I don't see any way that I'm not behind this guy for at least a mile, probably. Maybe even more than that, just going 40, unless he lives off of this road. Which, oh, he's slowing down a ton? No, we're just slowing down to 30 because we can. Why wouldn't you? So I'm now behind a truck that comes around and picks up dead trees and bushes and stuff like that. Which is unfortunate because I, on top of having to slow down to a very ridiculous speed, which is going to take me the entire way probably down this road and possibly the highway, I also have to worry about sticks and trees and limbs and bushes falling on my car. And for anyone who doesn't know, I'm not a fan of the bush, haven't been since about the 70s. I think I speak for all those girls when I say, yeah. I'm glad I stopped recording that when I did because a cop just came around the corner. Just sitting here now, waiting. I think there's another overtake up here, but first we gotta get through quite a few curves going 40 miles an hour. Patrick's averaging, I guarantee, at least 55. At least. I'd say his average speed across this entire trip will be around 55 or so. And um, at this point, there's no way we're gonna be able to do that. So we kinda just have to hope that this route is shorter and thus would allow us to, to get it right here. I can overtake, it's on a blind hill and you can't legally overtake, so I'm not gonna do it, but I could have done it. I could have done it, but I'm not going to. So we've now hit road work, and we're on the highway, and this truck is right in front of me. And I have a feeling he's going to go all the way down this highway. No, he's turning, he's turning, thank God. The unfortunate part is because there's road work throughout this entire highway, the speed limit is 35. Oh, is he turning? He doesn't indicate, obviously. No. Oh, this is the school zone. I, I appreciate him slowing down here because I probably would have blew through it had he not been in front of me. But, um, just waiting. Just waiting. So, we're going a solid 35 right now. Still going 35. Accelerating to a brisk 35 is what we're doing. Got the missing road, ooh, I'm a missing White boy in the road, right? In the motherfucking road, fuck. There we go. The perfect song for driving this car. I don't, why? Are you going to turn off at the school? I mean, that's fine. Turn off at the school, please. Is it the Mustang? Come here. I think, I, I completely think that there are parents waiting to pick up their kids. At 1.22 on a school day. People don't get out of school until 3 o'clock here. That's excessive. What do you have? Like, if that's all you have to do with your time, that's that's a bit sad. Okay. Oh, he's turning off. Probably to let me by. He is. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All righty. Off we go again. In the school zone right there. Okay, we are good and off to the races. Now we can actually go the speed limit which um, is about 10 more than what we were actually going there. So, um, yeah, this is actually where we can maybe catch up to Patrick. But we're on pretty curvy roads here. These are a lot curvier than the roads we did in our last race. And on top of that, they're just not, like, I don't know them as well, right? They're not in my memory like the uh, other curves are. Like, I know on that road where cops are, I know where all that stuff is. On these curves and these roads, I have no clue. I am clueless as to where, you know, any cops are, as to where any, you know, blind curves are and things like that. Whereas on that other road, I knew it like the back of my hand and I feel lost. I still lost on that last race and I knew the route very well and I knew what I was doing. So, um, we are on our way here. I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep going with this and I will see you guys here in a second after doing a little bit of see how that, that was cars we're coming around that corner I didn't know this was a blind corner right I mean like I, I don't know this road as well but anyway I'll see you guys here in a second um, I'm just gonna focus on driving here for a moment and see if I can't make up a little bit of time sport mode activated so I think we've got a pretty big straight up here 
See, I don't know these roads well enough to, to know for sure if there is a big straightaway right here or not. Because for all I know, this is met after a hairpin turn. Okay, yeah, now this is a pretty big straightaway. I can make up some true time here. But even still, like, the time I can make up is negligible to compare to what Patrick is doing, like, on his average speed. This alignment's actually pretty bad now. I don't know what's going on. If I've blown another lower control arm, I'm gonna fucking die. <laughs> Sir, do you see my car? Please do not cut out in front of me. Okay, good. Nope, he did. He did. He cut out in front of me, but he's going the other way. Right on. Good old country boy. What am I talking about? I am a country boy, I guess. We're now averaging, I'd say for the past couple minutes, we've been averaging probably about 60, 65. Um, I'm sorry. We've been averaging 40, 45, something like that. You know, not anything over that. We've been legally going the speed limit the entire time. And uh, we're cruising. Now, right up here, there is a pretty sharp turn that I do remember because one time I almost ran off the road on it. So I'm just going to slow down a big bump too. Glad I slowed down before I hit that. And yeah, here's the turn where if you're not careful, you could come up on it very, very quickly and uh, go into a tree, which we don't want. I don't feel like going into a tree today. Blew an air back there. Actually, I shouldn't joke about that. All right, we are now coming up to the point where we are about to get on Interstate 81. And then I think from there we merge onto Interstate 40 and then take exit seven. 417 or 407. It's not 407, that's Kodak. 407? Is it 407? Big wide open straightaway here through a farm, just cut right down the center. Here we go. This is where we can really get it from 40 to 45, everybody. This is it right here. Boom. 45, cruising fast, cruising good. As it sits right now, we're probably about at the halfway point. Um, it's actually, we can look on the GPS and see. Actually, no, we are over halfway at this point. We are about two thirds of the way there. It's saying only 11 minutes left for me to get there. And who knows where Patrick's at at this point. I, I would love to know, but I do not know. I have no clue. There's an Audi going full Audi on me. Good God. Go ahead and get over before we lose our chance. Yeah, he's gone full Audi, like the prick he, like the nice gentleman he is. Oh, and there's a Mercedes CLA behind him, and she feels cool in her CLA. Oh, uh, here comes Mr. Audi now. Ooh, in his S5 with an emergency plate on it. Ah, uh, prick. So the rover can't can't go that fast, so it's going to do what it can. It is going the speed limit, obviously, um, clearly. They're going faster, so if I get pulled over, I don't know what the fuck's wrong. East Tennessee. It's perpetually wrong. I want to mention this alignment gets worse as it goes. Like, the faster we go, the more it goes this way. Or which way is it pulling? What? Okay. Which way are you pulling? Uh, time for an alignment. Now Patrick called me on the last race and when he okay Patrick I might just be able to snap a photo of it but there's a photo on your screen right now and this is Tennessee problems everybody that's what that is absolute Tennessee problems a dude backing a trailer into his driveway across a big old straightaway. The luck's just not... What? Dude, you've got it. You've got it. Just back it straight up at this point. There you go. Come on. This is it. You've got it. You're good. You're in. And we're through, okay. We're gonna call Nick. We're gonna see where Nick is. Now the problem is my car's Bluetooth has not been working. I think it's a problem with iOS 12, not necessarily my car. Who am I kidding? It's probably this car. Uh, 
receipt calls? No, and it's not on there either? Okay, well, we'll just go to phone book. This is safe at 80 miles an hour, I'm sure of it. Um, as we're merging on to now I-40. Uh, Nick King. Let's see if this works this time. It's working so far. And he didn't back the trailer in straight, by the way. He didn't back it. Okay, so this is Patrick. There we go. I, this has been the most unlucky race for me. Yes! Yes! Like, I legit, I took a photo and that's all I was able to do. I wasn't able to get a video. But, uh, you can overlay it on the screen or whatever. But, like, there was literally a guy backed across the entire road backing his trailer into his yard. Just there was one where I, um went off and took a, you know, I went down, I took a right there to bypass the red light at BP. Well, I went straight. I accidentally went straight and had to turn around and go back the way that I, you know, and, uh, the way that I, you know, and, um, top, 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 top. <laughs> We're fine. But then I, um, you know, like you got the red light there before me, like, God, this has been so unlucky. Well, I got stuck behind one of those trucks that carries like the tree limbs and everything, and it was blowing them all yeah. over me. Oh, well. Uh, at least there was a bit of an obstacle for you as well. <laughs> no, and then and then an Audi driver went full on Audi on me and would not move. <laughs> I mean, like, he was on the path, but wouldn't get in the other lane. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that it's a nice color though, it's blue, it was an S5 two-door, beautiful car. Now what's crazy is right now, I'm the interstate is to my left. I could literally look over and possibly see Patrick. I don't know if he's on the interstate though, so... Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm on I-40. Okay, yeah, so this is I-40 right next to me, and I'm about to pass under I-40. So literally, he could be right here. <laughs> I know! What? I'm going over a bridge right now! <laughs> yep, so that honestly, we might be truly neck and neck right now, which would just be <laughs> absolutely crazy. All right, well, I will talk to you at the place where hopefully I don't have to buy lunch. Hopefully, I'll see you there. All right, sounds good. See ya. Now, what I didn't tell Nick, and I did this again. <laughs> This is the second time I've done this. I'm about to take my exit. So I am now at exit 417. I was right the first time, I think. Or second or third. I remember saying 417 at one point. But anyway, we are about to take exit 417, Danbridge, Jefferson City. And we need to turn left. Because if you go right, you really don't want to go right. There's really nothing. Don't do that. We're, we're, we're pushing ahead here. We're on the curviest bit of this entire journey right now. And if I'm gonna lose any speed or any you know time, it's gonna be right here. So we're gonna see how this goes. I've got 2.6 miles before I turn on to basically turn into what is downtown Dandridge and, and the restaurant we're going to just across the bridge, across the lake from downtown Dandridge. So it's gonna be an interesting one. Um, I'm curious to see what's gonna happen here. It's so close. So right now he's on the interstate. He's still going that way. I'm going this way. I'm making my way almost a direct line to Dandridge with some curves. However, he has to go up and then get a, take an exit and then take a left and then come all the way into Dandridge. So I think the odds are in our favor here, guys. I think we might actually be winning this one. Yes, we're on the exit. We're flying down the exit, actually. Uh, going a little bit too fast, but we'll get it. Okay, so I have no idea where Nick is. He's somewhere back over there. I don't know where he is. He could be ahead of me, he could be behind me, but now I have to go through the town and there's a cop somewhere, ambulance. I don't mind ambulances. They don't pull you over. Patrick having to buy lunch, I think I might go absolutely crazy and uh, go over the top here. Uh, okay, there we go. Whew. This is freaking awesome, guys. I am. I am loving this. I love doing these races. Let us know any other video ideas you would have in the comments as like races or just fun videos that we can do and things like that. They're expanding the, the country club neighborhood there apparently. It's a country club behind me there. But um, yeah, I don't know. This is fun. I'm, I'm stuck behind a slow car here, but um, he seems to be turning off. He's got his 
blinker on, and that doesn't necessarily mean he's turning off. He's turning into the country club, of course. Now we, now we, what, what is, what is rattling? Why are you rattling? That just seems unnecessary. All right, so we're at a red light. I'll see you in a minute. Currently 1.3 miles away from the uh, the highway here. I don't even know if Patrick's on this highway yet. He probably is. I, I would guess by now Patrick has exited the highway and is, uh, is, is on his way in. So it's going to be close here. And I love these races. They're so awesome. Jesus Christ, there's a there's a blue M4. I guess it's not blue, it's gray. But it looked a lot like Nick's. The only problem was it was a convertible, and I went, oh my God, is he right there? But he's not, he's not, he's not. That's an M4. No, tell Nick, but his car's not an M4. <laughs> Bitch. One of the great things, and the reason we can do like these races here without like necessarily speeding or breaking the law, really, is because we have some of the best, like, back roads that I know of and that's one thing I will give Tennessee while you know Patrick and I both want to move to Florida and get out of here this place has so many more good back roads uh, because you know I mean it's like 31 minutes to take this route then I got cut off right before the highway too uh, so this highway takes me into Dandridge it, it's not necessarily even a highway at this point I'm in downtown Dandridge here but I, I did get cut off by a guy Ugh, that's annoying. But because we have these good back roads, it's like 31 minutes to take the way that I have here. It's like 29 minutes for Patrick to take the interstate, right? That's what it looks like on the on the GPS. And what's great about that is that we can do these races and have these challenges and have fun and, and do all that while not breaking the speed limit and doing crazy, stupid stuff. And that's one of the great things about all the awesome back roads we have around here. So anyway I'm, I'm i will see you guys when i'm pulling into downtown dandridge at the red light i think what i actually might do is instead of turning through downtown dandridge there's like a little road that kind of bypasses around it i think i'm going to take that road because if i take that road it's going to be a little more efficient than going through downtown because there's a crazy red light there patrick will have to go through that red light by the way so this could be a place where just a little bitty move could give me a big result Oh, and now the fucking Jeep's gonna run me over, so they've seen my Jeep video, which is nice of them. Nobody liked that Jeep video. I told the truth about how crappy it was. People didn't like that. Oh, school zone, 25. Uh, I'm going 55, so we should probably slow down a little bit. I think they might care. That Jeep video, though, have you seen that like to dislike ratio? Whew. I think it was a success. The worst part, though, was the toxic comments, of which most of the time I was just simply told to go die, which really, really helps get you through the day, reading the comment like that. You know, you wake up, and you're like, oh, how's the channel doing? Go die. Fuck you. Go die. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going back to bed. Now, for somebody who's never been to Dandridge, you might be overwhelmed with the amount of real estate firms down there. In fact, there's one, two, three four, five, six, right within a mile of each other. Why? There's like three neighborhoods in Dandridge. Obviously, I'm being sarcastic. Dandridge is a beautiful city, one of my favorites. It's just a sleepy little lake town. Um, so I like coming here for lunch. Um, but we're totally going to kick Nick's ass because in a few red lights, we take a right turn, go across a bridge, and we're fucking there. But I like Dandridge. It's a nice little town. Much better than the place we went last time where we then had to go back the town we came from in order to eat lunch because there is nothing there ever at all. They had a fireworks show once on the lake and that's about it. Okay, so right here is the uh, turn I'm going to be taking. This is it. This could be the uh, be the, the deal breaker. Whether we win or we lose. The problem is this is actually a road where the speed limit is, you know, 30 and I have to go that speed limit because one, there's a lot of residential houses, but two, it's kind of curvy. And uh, we don't want to be running off the road here. That's some nice lake neighborhood. A lot of Land Rovers, which I appreciate. And a lot of assholes driving bright blue BMWs. Ooh, Jaguar. I got corrected on the way I said Jaguar once. I said Jaguar, not Jaguar. As if that's my fucking problem. As if that's the one thing I need to worry about most in life is how to say Jaguar. The problem is, there are so many people who mispronounce car brands, and, but he says a thing. But I say Jaguar instead of Jaguar, 
and people act like it's the end of the world. But anyway, we're now coming through downtown Dandridge, which is essentially like saying we're going to pass a couple buildings with some cars parked out front. Uh, when I say down, there's a Freelander! Sorry, I have that problem. But there is a Freelander down there, a real Freelander. It's the one that looks like the fucking rhinoceros. That didn't feel good, that shift right there. I don't know if you guys felt that, but that didn't feel pleasant. That's a pretty Freelander. It's been taken care of quite well. All right. Oh, I'm so excited. So we're about to pull up to the stop sign. If we were going to see Patrick before we get to the restaurant, it's going to be right here at this stop sign. So we're pulling up to it here. He's going to be to my right. And <laughs> I'm going to see there's a motorcycle coming to a complete stop here. I don't see him. I'm making my turn. Looking back. Still don't see him. Don't see him. Okay. In the rear view, he's not there. So either he's at the restaurant or he's still back coming into Dandridge. Okay, we're here. That was actually a lot quicker than I thought. Oh man, I'm so excited. God, this is pretty. We're gonna have to get some drone shots of all this. Yup, they changed where the entrance is. And turning in, hoping to not see a black Range Rover anywhere in the parking lot. And we won! Ha <laughs> ha, yes! We are the winners. Winner, winner, lunch. Kind of, kind of kills the kills the thing there, doesn't it? Okay. Um, and now we wait. <laughs> that is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna set a GoPro up, just move the GoPro, so we can get Patrick pulling in here. And I think I have kicked Nick's ass once again. So I'm kind of wondering if I should go in and get a table because. No! No! Oh god, that's embarrassing. He's won. Oh god. I was getting off the exit when we got off the phone. I don't know how you did that. How long have you been here? About two minutes. Not long enough to get the GoPro set up, so. I mean, probably even a minute. Like, I barely beat you. What's that? I was pulling in and go, I, I kid you not, I pulled in and I'll play a replay. I went, and another time I've beat Nick. And I think I have kicked Nick's ass. Because I thought you were far behind me and I was so confident. Mm -hmm. I pulled in. I had the shock of my life when I pulled in and went. Well, you want a beer? <laughs> I do. Let's go. And there is your winner, Little Blue. And what will probably be, possibly, its last race. All right, let's get this GoPro off the hood, head inside. We gotta get some lunch. Two to three minutes. Like, that's how quick it was between or probably even less than that, probably like a minute and a half between Patrick pulling in and me pulling in and, uh, or well, me pulling in and Patrick pulled in probably a minute and a half later. And I was trying to flip the GoPro around and it wasn't working. So I uh, didn't get a good shot of that. But nevertheless, let's go get some lunch on Patrick's dime. This will be the place that Patrick's going to be buying my lunch at. This is it. I think I may get the Maryland crab cakes. One piece of fish. <laughs> I think Patrick's a bit disappointed when he with what he got there. I got fish tacos. So there was lunch. Patrick bought me lunch. I went pretty easy on in there, about twenty dollars. But uh, yeah, I won. He lost. Range Rover lost a race. Makes sense, but still. All right, I'm gonna close this thing out. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video where hopefully I win another race.